Hello, thank you for checking out Mr. Ware's videos. And today we're looking at distributed property. Distributed property. Okay. So what we want to do with distributed property is we want to distribute what's outside of the parentheses and um, take it from being factored to being something called expanded. But basically, we're just shortening the number of terms. We're just combining or multiplying that outside of the parentheses with what's on the inside of the parentheses, okay? So this first part is, it says to write an equivalent expression by distributing the negative sign outside the parentheses, okay? So now you got a negative sign outside of the parentheses, and that could be seen as like, okay, what do I distribute? Well, it's a lot easier if you consider it as one, a negative one on the outside. So you can use that negative one and you're going to distribute a negative one times both of the terms or all of the terms that's inside the parentheses that it's being multiplied to. Okay, so really you're just saying um, the negative times the negative is going to get you a positive. Okay, and then you're going to take the, zoom in a little bit here. And take the 1 times 5.3, and you get 5.3t. And you just keep on going. This negative times this negative is positive. And then 1 times 3 is 3. Now, there's multiple ways of doing it. Um, you can... I'm going to put this, you don't have to write this down. I just want to show you the different ways of doing it. You could, um, I'm going to show you one in black where you have a box. And you have the negative one here and the five, uh, negative 5.3 here, T, and negative 3 here. And then what's inside the box is your actual solution. Another way of doing it is to multiply these two and just have them together like negative let me change the color again make this blue negative one times negative 5.3 t plus the negative one times the negative three that's another way of doing it like that and then see what you get i think the simplest way to do it is with this this right here you just distribute that negative sign on both of the terms so i'm gonna go ahead and pause the video right here and see if you could do this one over here remember it's easier when you just say this is a negative one all right let's take a look at this one so you could go ahead and just distribute your negative one like so and negative times a positive is a negative. And then 1 times 3.9D is 3.9D. And then negative times a positive is a negative. And then 1 times 10 is 10. Essentially, you just change the signs. All right, let's take a look at some more distributed property. Okay, here it says, use the distributed property to write an equivalent expression. So we're going to write an equivalent expression just like we did before. We're just going to distribute, okay? So I am going to take this 3 on the outside here and multiply it against the two terms on the inside. Okay, now if it was positive or negative, it doesn't matter. You also want to do the signs as well. So the 3 doesn't have a positive, but it's positive. So it's positive times a positive, which is positive. And you don't always have to write the positive side, but it's, I find it's easier to keep it straight. And then 3 times K, or 3 times this understood 1 in front of the K, is 3. K. Okay. So just like the parentheses, it's an understood one if there's no number there. Now we're going to do 3 times 10, but positive times a positive is a positive, and 3 times 10 is 30.
So you end up with 3K plus 30M. And like I said, you don't have to write that positive when it's in front of a number, like the first term in an expression. All right, you can go ahead and pause the video here and see if you can solve this one on your own. All right, let's take a look at this one. Okay, so just like before, we're going to distribute. We're going to take this 8 and multiply it on both terms. Okay, don't let the fact that there's an M here and an N here throw you off. We're just going to multiply it, the signs. Positive times a positive is a positive. And then 8 times 5, which is 40. And then the M. Now, if there was a variable on the outside, you would multiply that variable times this variable. But since there's no variable, you just bring down the M. All right, next we're going to do 8 times 8, which is 64. But positive times a positive is a positive. 8 times 8 is 64. And you bring down the N. All right, let's take a look at two more examples. And uh, that'll be it for distributed property for right now. Uh, let me go ahead and zoom in on this one. And nothing's different. Everything's the same. Just you got three terms instead of just two. So we're going to distribute it to all three terms. And you only distribute to what's inside the parentheses. So on this one, we're going to do seven or positive times a positive, which is a positive. And then 7 times 2, which is 14. And bring down the x. And then set positive times a positive is a positive. And then 7 times 5 is 35. And then positive times a negative is a negative. And then 7 times 5 again is 35. Make sure you bring down the variable if it has one. And that's it. All right, go ahead, pause the video here and see if you can get this last one. All right, so same thing, we're going to distribute. We're going to take this 8 times 3. It's 8 times this 3. 3V, I should say. 3W. And then 8 times negative 2. So positive times a positive is a positive. 8 times 3 is going to be 24V. Then positive times a positive is positive. And then 8 times 3 is 24 W. Positive times a negative is a negative, and 8 times 2 is 16. And that's it. That is distributed property. I want to thank you for checking out Mr. Ware's videos. Have a nice day.